As you guys already saw, we got all the ingredients. Um, I'm, I should have gotten white. I was gonna get white um, of the almond bark, but I didn't. I did find these, these are so cute. Um, but these ones are peanut butter, these are pumpkin spice. So we're gonna do some chocolate. I did get these. Um, we're gonna do some chocolate ones. We're gonna do some white chocolate, milk chocolate, pumpkin spice, and peanut butter. And then I got these um, to kind of just like, you know, decorate them. I'm doing mini ones just because um, the other molds sometimes are too big for the mugs. So I'm doing the mini ones today. So let's go down. chocolate is melted you just want to keep mixing it make sure all the chunks are melted and they pretty much are so we're gonna take our mold right here and we are going to just coat the inside of the mold You want to make sure that you get all around the mold. This is my first time doing like mini ones like this, so. But they're so easy. People sell these for so much too, it's crazy. I wanna make sure you really get the rim good cause that's, you want it thick. So that way when you put them together to make your bomb, it holds. But we are gonna do another layer of that. Okay. So we did the chocolate ones. You guys can see. And I am gonna go and warm up peanut butter. Okay, I got peanut butter melted and ready to go. Just making sure there's no lumps. Excuse my dog. Those ones are done. Now I'm gonna try to do like a marble swirl thing. So I don't know. We'll see how this goes. So I'm gonna do a little drizzle of the chocolate. I mean, kind of. Ooh, okay. 
Okay. That kind of looks cool. Let's see. I just got to make sure, you know, it's like thick enough, I guess. See, you can kind of see right here how I'm going to do it. So I just kind of put in both. You just don't want to like mix it around too much because it'll just turn like beige probably. There, that's kind of cool. I'm gonna add a little bit more chocolate over here, kind of thicken it a bit. All right, here's the marbly molds. Now I'm gonna put them in the fridge, harden them up. All right, you guys, this is what it looks like. You can kind of see them coming apart. Ooh, I'm excited. I just gotta see they're popping out already. Okay, and then I have all my toppings. Okay, so these ones are the mini chocolate chips, butterscotch, mini M&Ms, um, candy corn, that's the name of it, Harvest Candy Corn. These are white chocolate. I got marshmallows, and then this is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I just kind of like broke it, broke it up a little bit so it's not too big, kind of little squares. So those are my toppings. Oh, see, look at the edge on that one. Ooh. Oh, I didn't do it thick enough. You see right there. So that's okay. Just gonna do a little trial. Hopefully, oh. Uh... Okay, I gotta do them a little bit thicker on the edge. Still gonna work. Let's see, these ones are a little bit thicker. Ooh, those are cool. You can see that they're coming off better. So here they are. Now I'm going to heat up a plate. So I heated up this plate, it's nice and hot. And we are gonna take one of these, smooth out the edges like this. Smooth it out. I'm gonna set that right there. And I'm going to smooth out the edges on this one. I'm gonna take this and we're gonna put some hot cocoa in there. And we're gonna get some. those. We're going to take our other one, heat it up. And fill this. Okay, like that. And you can see the edge you just want to Smooth the edge out.
guys. I put eyes on that one. I found some eyes I forgot I had from Halloween. So it looks like a little turkey. Anyways, here is my cocoa bombs. They turned out so cute. And we have our milk heated. This is a regular sized um, coffee mug. So let's drop it in let's see which one do i want which one huh i don't know i think i'm gonna go with this one it's uh, peanut butter hot chocolate inside it's got cinnamon toast crunch mini chocolate chips, chocolate drizzle, and marshmallows on top. So let's put that in. Ooh, okay. Ooh, look at that. Mix it up. gonna do this one make sure it's covered there it goes boom and you just want to mix that up I mean you don't have to unless you want it like oh like really chocolatey but I usually do two bombs um, for the mini bombs it's kind of nice because you can do a chocolate one and a peanut butter one like I did all right we are gonna taste it taste this cheers Ooh. this is Oh my gosh. Okay, so I was wrong. That one was not peanut butter. Mmm. That was the pumpkin, um, the pumpkin chocolate. Pumpkin spice chocolate. That is so good. Ooh, this is really, really good. And you know what? You actually probably don't need to do two. I mean, you can if you want to. It's really, really flavorful though. And I think it's just because the bombs, you make them with chocolate. Mmm. So good, you guys. That was a success. To go get the girls right now from school, but they're gonna be so excited to have some hot chocolate bombs and i hope that you guys all make them they are super easy um the mini ones you gotta really make sure that you coat the edges just so that they can seal and close together other than that i had so much fun making them and we will be making some more i'm definitely going to order the bigger molds for bigger bombs but the mini ones worked out great they are so good and flavorful. I'm gonna finish my hot chocolate. All right, so Harper is going to have for her dessert, hot cocoa, hot cocoa bomb. bomb. That's the one that she picked. So cute. When do I put it in? You can put it in now. Don't, jeez, plop it in like that. Oh my gosh. Don't, don't do that. Let it melt on its own. See? Ooh. It'll start opening up. I don't know if that one's peanut butter or if it was the pumpkin spice or... Pumpkin spice. It's good. I just tried it. Okay. Yeah, do that. Come on. Open up. There. There it is. Ooh, there's a little surprise in there for you. 
You see that? I oh, put some this. mini Reese's peanut butter mm. pieces in there. Actually, I think it's hot chocolate. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, Harper wanted to add more um, marshmallows. Okay, taste it now. It should be cooled off. Pumpkin spice. Is it good? It tastes like a pumpkin spice. It's so good. Mmm. Straw. No, you drink it from the mug. <laughs> you don't know because you don't drink coffee, girl. There you go. Just be careful in case it um, mm -hmm. is too hot. How is it? Yummy? Mm -hmm. Do you want a little pumpkin whipped cream on there? Yes. <laughs> okay, so I got this. I haven't used it yet. It's a pumpkin spice whipped cream. Limited edition by Friendly Farm. I got it at Aldi, so... Ooh, let's see. Do you know how to do it? Mm -hmm. Only a little bit. Ooh. Do you need help? There you go. Okay, that's good, that's good. I'm gonna try it. Mm. Really? So you like your cocoa bombs? It was a hit? All right. I hope you guys like this video and I hope it inspires you guys to get creative, make some mini hot chocolate bombs, make some um, fall ones and serve them as a dessert for Thanksgiving with a side of pumpkin pie or pecan pie. And I guarantee it will be a hit you guys so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit your subscribe button on your way out turn your post notifications on so you guys get notified and sharing is caring we appreciate it guys bye